Hi guys, look for here and welcome to the FIFA 19 player review and today I'm going to be doing the 90 rated prime icon deck here. He's got a very nice looking card and he did cost me 654,000 coins and in the five games that I played him with, he scored me five goals and got me zero assists and he does have a three star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along into his in-game stats, his main standard stats are his 87 long shots, his 93 vision, his 95 short passing and his 91 long passing and I did have the Hawk chem style applied to Deco for the five games that I used him with and I believe all games were played in foot champions or they might have been played in foot rivals I'm not too sure but uh, a very nice looking icon card one of the cheaper icon cards that you can currently get a similar price to the likes of um, the 91 loud drop the 90 Lippman and who, who we uh, reviewed recently and he's got a very nice looking card really good passing really good dribbling decent pace not the best shooting but um, yeah moving along though actually into his pros his first pro is going to be his finishing I thought his finishing was surprisingly really Really good. Now, I didn't expect his finishing to be awful, but the fact that he got five goals in five games was really, really surprising to see that from a cam position. And I have to say, overall, in terms of his finishing, I was impressed. Now, his long shots at 87, I don't think I tested that out too much in game. Um, but, you know, his finishing at 75 feels a lot better than that. Now, I did have the whole chem style on, so I believe his finishing went up to around 80 finishing, which isn't too bad, but which isn't too bad, but even so, that's not fantastic. But in game, if I actually really Really, really good and he got me some really nice important goals for me uh, some winners some crucial goals to get me back into games just was really really good as a uh, finish sorry his finesse shots are decent as well uh, his positioning at 83 isn't too bad either but uh, yeah I have to say his finishing was a surprising positive to this card his second pro is going to be his passing now this is such a weird card that I reviewed because he got me zero assists in the five games, which is very, very surprising again and very disappointing and concerning as well. But I don't think you should be too concerned because, I mean, first of all, his passing stats are out of this world. 93 vision, 95 short passing, 91 long passing, superb stats for a cam. Of course, you would expect that because you are paying a lot of coins for this card. But the fact that he got me zero assists was, his passing doesn't feel bad. It was actually really decent. His link up play with players was absolutely fantastic to get attacks started his short passing and long passing is absolutely fantastic his vision is very good to be able to create through balls um through to like my strikers and stuff like that and i was just surprised that he didn't get me any assists and it wasn't through any fault of his own you'll see in clips some of the chances that he creates for my attack of players they just weren't able to finish off the chances just by pure luck that they weren't able to finish off chances that deco had provided for them um so i wouldn't see his finishing sorry i wouldn't see his passing has been has been an issue at all if anything it's still a really good part to his car but it just wasn't able to kind of reflect that in terms of stats within the five games that I played him with but it's definitely not an issue guys trust me his passing is very good and then his final pro is going to be his dribbling he's got some very nice dribbling stats Decent agility and nice balance as well. Coming in at 86 agility and 85 balance. 94 ball control, 90 in-game dribbling. Absolutely fantastic. He's a pretty small cam. Again, like a striker, I do tend to like smaller players in those type of positions. And uh, his dribbling is fantastic as a way of being able to kind of take on defenders and midfielders and be able to beat them thanks to his really good dribbling. Doesn't feel clunky, which obviously is something that I don't like for a cam. A prime example of that would be the 87 Socrates. He felt very clunky at a cam card. And I have to say to be quite honest, if you're looking at getting a cam card, I'd probably recommend the 90 Deco over the 87 Socrates, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, and in terms of other icons, we've, I've reviewed the likes of obviously the 90 Gianfranco Zola. He isn't quite as good as him. Fair enough, Gianfranco Zola isn't an out and out cam. He can play as like a centre forward or a striker as well, but I liked Zola at a cam and I'd probably say that he was better than Deco, but honestly, Deco, um, comparing him with the likes of Lippmanen uh, and stuff like that, very, very similar cards. I'd say probably Lippmanen was slightly better, but there's still nothing wrong with this deck of card whatsoever if you want to go and buy this card i would recommend you guys but i think there are some better alternative cams, but they are going to cost you a little bit more coins. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with this card. He was actually surprisingly good for me. He was a lot better than what I thought he was going to be. I didn't expect him to be terrible, but at the same time, I didn't think he'd be as good as what he was. Certainly in terms of his finishing, it was just a bit of a shame that he wasn't able to, you know, reflect his stats in a good way in terms of his passing through assists. That was just a bit unfortunate. But even so, his passing, as I said before, is not an issue to this card. And I have to say, overall, I was you know, impressed with this card. Not overly impressed, but I was impressed for the most part, and I would recommend you guys uh, buying this card if you're looking for a cam icon in your team. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish up this play review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.